Step into the rugged world of the iconic Western series, Have Gun Will Travel, where the enigmatic paladin, portrayed by the classic Hollywood actor Richard Boone, takes center stage. As you revisit this timeless gem, you might find yourself contemplating, what classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? Before delving into anecdotes and lesser known facts about the show, it's worth noting the cultural impact and enduring popularity of Have Gun Will Travel. The series, which graced television screens in 1957, not only captivated audiences with its compelling narratives, but also showcased the charismatic presence of Richard Boone, whose portrayal of the refined gunslinger paladin left an indelible mark. Now, as we navigate the vast landscape of facts surrounding this classic, consider this. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Perhaps you're intrigued by the behind the scenes dynamics or the challenges faced during production. Interestingly, the show's unique title itself became a catchphrase, symbolizing Paladin's readiness for any challenge. But did you know that Have Gun Will Travel was not just a catchphrase, but also originated from the business cards Paladin distributed? These cards with the emblem of a white knight on a chess piece bore the words Have Gun Will Travel and Paladin's contact information, adding a touch of sophistication to the character. As you relish these nuggets of information, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories, and Memorous of Refan contributes to the rich tapestry of the show's legacy. So, what classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? And are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Share your thoughts and let the conversation unfold. Have Gun Will Travel, the 1957 television series, emerged as a classic in the realm of Western dramas, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Created by Sam Rolfe, the show follows the enigmatic and cultured gunslinger paladin, played by Richard Boone, who, armed with a business card bearing his unmistakable chess knight emblem, offers his services as a hired gun to those in need. Combining elements of morality, philosophy, and action, the series stands out for its intricate character development and Paladin's intriguing duality as both a man of violence and intellect. The show's unique style is further accentuated by its setting, often venturing beyond the traditional Western locales. Paladin's complex character, with his refined demeanor and moral code, resonated with audiences, making him an iconic figure in television history. The series' impact on popular culture extends beyond its initial run, influencing subsequent Westerns and paving the way for morally ambiguous protagonists in television storytelling. Have Gun Will Travel not only showcased the versatility of the Western genre, but also challenged conventional norms, setting a precedent for character-driven narratives in television. The legacy of this groundbreaking series endures as a testament to its narrative depth and cultural significance leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television storytelling. Paladin, the enigmatic gunslinger in the iconic 1957 TV series, derived his name from the early European term Paladino, symbolizing a knightly, heroic champion. This moniker also evokes a military leader trusted by his king, a nod to Paladin's military background. The genesis of this nom de guerre is explored in Have Gun Will Travel, Genesis. Interestingly, the TV series stands out for not being an adaptation of a radio show. Instead, the radio version with John Daner as Paladin emerged later. This deviation from the norm contributes to the show's distinctiveness. Adding another layer to the series is Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, who wrote a notable portion of the show. Among the 225 episodes, Roddenberry penned 24, earning him the Writers Guild of America Award in 1957 for the best original script in episode 16, Helen of a This convergence of historical etymology, unique origins, and the creative influence of Gene Roddenberry showcases the multifaceted nature of Have Gun Will Travel. The series, with its roots in the chivalrous and military ideals, coupled with Roddenberry's narrative prowess, has left an enduring mark on television storytelling. Paladin's trusty steed rafter was more than just a means of transportation in the iconic TV series. Richard Boone himself chose the name for the horse, adding a personal touch to the character's persona. Interestingly, throughout the show's six-year run, Paladin rode horses with distinct names like Curly, Frisco, Rudy, Mexico, and of course, Rafter. Amidst the series' diverse episodes, one standout is Penelope, aired on 12,081,062. This unique installment takes a modern twist on the classic Western cowboy theme, presenting a contemporary version of Homer's Odyssey. 
The narrative revolves around a man returning from his ventures, facing the challenge of reconciling with a wife longing for her missing husband. In the holster of Paladin, the enigmatic gunslinger always rested a Derringer pocket gun cleverly concealed under his belt. The term Derringer bears historical weight, stemming from the misspelled last name of Henry Derringer, a notable 19th century maker of small pistols. These intriguing facets of Have Gun will travel, from the personalized choice of horse names to the inventive storytelling in episodes like Penelope and the concealed firepower in Paladin's possession collectively contribute to the series' enduring appeal. Each detail adds a layer to the multifaceted nature of this classic television show. Paladin, the enigmatic gunslinger from the classic TV series, wielded a distinctive 188-73 Colt single-action army revolver. This weapon, with a 7.5-inch barrel in 44 or 45 caliber, became an iconic part of Paladin's persona. Notably, the handgun reflected the character's lethal efficiency in his hired gun endeavors. In the early episodes, Paladin sported trail clothes in a rich midnight blue, a choice that complemented Richard Boone's blue eyes. However, due to the black and white film technology of the time, these clothes appeared black on screen. A later redesign switched the shirt to a V-neck and changed both shirt and pants to black. Regardless of the color, whenever Paladin's attire was mentioned, he was consistently referred to as the man in black. Interestingly, the influence of Have Gun will travel extended beyond its original airings. The series inspired the 80s-90s British TV drama Boone, featuring Michael Elphick. This attests to the enduring impact and widespread recognition of Paladin's character, transcending borders and influencing television narratives across different eras. In summary, whether examining Paladin's iconic firearm, the unique color dynamics of his wardrobe, or the series' international influence, Have Gun will travel left an indelible mark on television storytelling, shaping perceptions of the enigmatic gunslinger and resonating with audiences across generations. As we bid adieu to the tales of a certain man with a knack for navigating the complexities of the West, it's time for you, dear reader, to holster your thoughts on the 1957 TV series that gracefully transported us to a world where honor and justice met at the crossroads of every dusty trail. Have you ever found yourself caught in the crossfire of nostalgia, remembering the characters who rode through your living room, becoming legendary figures in your own personal frontier? Now's the moment to let those memories ride free, like unbridled Mustangs across the vast expanse of your mind. In the echo of Have Gun Will Travel, take a moment to ponder the impact it etched onto your own frontier of experiences. Did Paladin's journeys through moral quandaries ever reflect your own struggles? Or perhaps the camaraderie between characters stirred up memories of your own steadfast friendships? As the credits roll on this chapter, I invite you to share your reflections. Unleash the bounty of your thoughts in the comment section below, creating a tapestry of shared experiences that transcend time and space. Let this be a virtual campfire where tales are swapped, anecdotes spun, and connections forged over the shared love for a show that stood tall in the annals of television history. Thank you for joining me on this excursion into the realms of nostalgia and reminiscence. Your time and reflections are the gold nuggets in the riverbed of our shared appreciation for the timeless allure of the West, as depicted in that indelible 1957 masterpiece. Until our trails cross again, happy trails, fellow wanderers of the small screen, and may your memories of Have Gun will travel forever be as vivid as a desert sunset.